Hi all, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be making some trifles. So I thought it'd be a nice one and it was requested. So I decided I was going to make them. I've kind of done this video a bit backwards. So they're all done at the minute. So this is the kind of thing you're going to be needing to, well, this is what you're going to be left with. This beautiful thing. So yeah, we'll uh, go from that. And I've done the video as well. I've done it in kind of increments. So obviously what I've done for the jelly, what I've done for the custard and what I've done for the cream. So you'll see all that in different ways. Um, I should have mentioned that previously, but not, I normally don't do the videos that way. I don't know why I did it that way this time. But yeah, I've done it that way. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this part, we're gonna need two packs of strawberry jelly. You can pick any kind of flavor jelly you want and some hot water we will need some cold water after but i'll show you what you need to do so first things first is you're going to grab yourself a bowl and then you're going to either do this by hand or you're going to do it with some clean kitchen scissors so we're just going to cut the jelly up into the little cubes so that will just be into the 24. this just helps it dissolve quicker in the hot water um, i'll come back to you once that has all done so that is your two packs of jelly if you're making a smaller trifle then you can use one if you're making a bigger trifle then please do use more so for the two packs i'm doing you'll need a pint if you're doing one pack you'll need half a pint so as i said a normal standard pack is half a pint of hot and half a pint of cold so it'll just be a case of we need to get this stirred until the cubes dissolve so I will show you once that has dissolved and then we can add the cold water then. So next thing we've got here is the pint of cold. So if you're just doing a standard one, it will be half a pint cold. So I'm going to carefully try and tip this into here. It's just because I've made too much. There we go. So that's that then. So that will be that all together and I will get it poured into my little kind of bowl here. So we'll be looking for about a third of this. If you want to as well, if you do want to be more kind of traditional about it, you can add sponges. But I just don't like sponges to be perfectly honest. Not in trifle anyway. So that is that one and I'll get the other little tubs filled up here so if you want to make some little portions for people then you can gladly do that by just filling these up um, I got these from a pound store can't give specific names but yeah I got them from there and I'll just fill them up with the rest and they'll go in the fridge overnight to set so for this one, this is just making the custard. So now your little jellies have set. So like this little boy. Blah, 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 blah. So we are going to make the custard and then we're going to let it cool down. So for this one on the packets, it does say use boiled water, but I'm going to use milk. So I'm going to use the blue top. If that's first in the UK or use whole milk or full fat milk, depending on where you're from. So we are going to do 600 mils of whole milk and we're going to put them in the microwave until it's hot and then we're going to add this powder and see how we get on. So I'll come back to you once that's done. So there's your milk warmed up in the microwave so I'm just going to get these packets open and hopefully not choke on the powder that comes out. And I'm just going to get these added in. So that's one. Oh, it's very, very yellowy. But what can you expect to from custard powder? Oh, that's gone all over my clean floor. Great. And there's the second packet. So just going to get this whisked up until it is gone all thick. So what we're going to do is now the powder is mixed, I'm going to put them back in the microwave for a couple of minutes until it's got thick. And then we can set it to cool it down. So this is the kind of consistency you're going to want. It is quite thick, so I did put him back in the microwave for a couple more minutes just to make it a bit thicker. What we're going to do is, after I knock the camera about, let's take that out and put him in the sink. 
is to get some cling film. So, with the cling film, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on top of the custard so it doesn't form a skin. Because the last thing you're going to need want is to get skin on the top and then it's going to make it go all lumpy and it's going to taste nasty. So we just do it off camera. Just be careful when you're doing it because obviously the custard is extremely hot. So let's poke him down. Make sure you have as little air bubbles in there as possible as well. Ouch. Like I said, it is really hot. So that's him all covered. So we're just going to leave him to cool down and then we can spin him on top of the trifles and then we can make the cream then. So now your custard has set, ladies and gentlemen, you'll want to pour this on top of your jelly. So I'll just get some of it poured on and then we can get it smoothed out with a spoon. So I'll just do that now. Just make sure no one's on the uh, live stream. Trying to make that as level as possible. There we go, that's a bit better. There we go, so that will be set in the fridge and then later on we can do the cream for that. That one's done. So lastly for your topping you're going to need a big tub of double cream so that's 600 mils. Um, so this is just over a pint. So when I get the lid off we can get him poured in. So it'll just be a case if you want this to whip up till it's hard peaks and then we can get him on top of the trifle and then we can decorate it. So I'll show you once I'm there. So that is your cream all done so it's quite thick there so we'll just get that on top of the trifle so obviously depending how much you make depends how much you're going to put on so for me this is probably going to be a lot so i do still have little tubs in the fridge so i've got some for them anyway let's get that all pressed down all nice kind of anyway <laughs> wish it would stop bending around the edges but yeah, that's essentially your trifle done. So the only thing you need to do now is to decorate it. Obviously, once I've sorted the edges out. So best thing for you to do is to get some chocolate. Obviously, you can use chocolate sprinkles. You can use sprinkles. You can use hundreds and thousands. Whatever you've got, really. So I'll just get that pot there. So if you just grab whatever chocolate you've got... Then grab your little one and just go over the top. So I'm just using some dark chocolate here. And that will be a case of, that can be your little sprinkles then. So that's essentially that then. So that's all done. So if you like this one, guys, go like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see all you lovely people in the next video. See you later.